now we have already discussed how to create a kubernetes cluster in our case we created three node uh, cluster now we want to create a kubernetes pods here we are going to cover what is pod basic how to create and manage pod now first of all why we need uh, pods in kubernetes while uh, uh, we were uh, dealing with docker we were dealing with the containers now sometimes what happens suppose i have got a web server container now for testing web server container i need uh, some uh, browser also suppose i have got uh, one container uh, for, uh, with nginx or uh, apache web server then i have got uh, one container with uh, browser suppose uh, curl browser or elinx browser now in our case in kubernetes we have got three nodes now when we are going to launch uh, uh, the uh, those uh, containers what can happen one can uh, container uh, might be launching on worker 1 and uh, 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 that browser container might be launching in uh, some other system uh, suppose uh, worker 2 now when i have to test uh, from uh, uh, browser to uh, our uh, nginx uh, server uh, delay will be there because uh, your server is running on uh, one node and your uh, client is running on other server that means sometimes what we want that both the container they should be running on the same node that is why the need for pod arises uh, in pod what we can do the container that we want to call uh, it that can be put into the pod that mean uh, why we are putting multiple containers in pod sometimes what we want we want to call it the containers So for that the pod is the best solution what we can do we can put the related containers into single pod now in the case of a kubernetes pod is the smallest deployment unit so automatically when we are going to launch a pod on a particular node all the containers what will happen will be running on that same node uh, the advantage of doing is uh, are there are many advantages first of all the containers in the pod can share the storage they can uh, communicate each other using local host and uh, pod is allocated one unique private address uh, and please remember whenever we are going to talk about pod no one from outside the cluster can access the pod directly for that uh, we need to use the service object in kubernetes Uh, most uh, uh, often uh, the secondary container is used to enhance the functionality of the uh, first container uh, now summarize it uh, diagrammatically so what is the difference between pod and container and when to use it so when we are talking about bare metal uh, we have got the vm in bare metal that mean in like in my system uh, in laptop uh, that is bare metal on which i can launch uh, various vms and if i am using the docker then on those vms i can launch the containers so container is the smallest unit in docker in the case of uh, kubernetes uh, i mean again bare metal vms are running in our case uh, in cluster three vms running in which we can uh, deploy the pods so pod is the smallest unit in the case of kubernetes so please remember in docker uh, deals with container kubernetes uh, the smallest unit is always pod although pods itself contains uh, your containers now uh, how many type of containers could be there single container pod now here in, in this example we are showing that in this web server pod only one single container is there of uh, nginx uh, uh, alpine image and uh, here we have specified the labels that we will be discussing now this is uh, the given one unique address in this case we are sh diagrammatic showing that 10244.1.2 that mean this is the example of a, uh, a single container pod and please remember most of the pods they are going to be single container pod but sometimes what we need we might be needing multi container pod so in this case again we are showing that we have got one 
इंजन एक्स अल्पाइन वेस्ट इंजन एक्स कंटेनर देन वी हैव गॉट वन कस्टम इमेज बेस्ड कंटेनर कर्ल कंटेनर दैट इज ब्राउजर कंटेनर सो दिस वेब सर्वर कोड दिस कंटेन्स टू कंटेनर्स एंड बोथ कैन शेयर द स्टोरेज सेम दे कैन कम्युनिकेट यूजिंग लोकल होस्ट एंड दे विल बी शेड्यूल्ड टूगेदर बिकॉज स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट इज बोर्ड एंड अगेन वन प्राइवेट एड्रेस विल बी गिवन एंड वी कैन लेबल दोज बोर्ड्स वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन डिटेल्स वट इज लेबल्स सो दैट इज मल्टी कंटेनर बोर्ड नाउ इन अवर केस वी हैव ऑलरेडी सेट दप द क्यूबनेट लैब सेटअप इज देयर इन विच वी हैव गॉट थ्री सिस्टम्स अवेलेबल मास्टर डॉट एग्जाम्पल डॉट कॉम विच द रोल ऑफ विच इज मास्टर दैट मीन वी मैनेज द कस्टर ऑल द क्लस्टर यूजिंग दिस मास्टर नोट एंड ऑल द थ्री सिस्टम हैव गॉट टू एड्रेसिज वन इज डायनमिक वन इज स्टैटिक सो दीज आर द एड्रेसिज दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस इज द एड्रेस वन नाइनटी टू वन सिक्स वन फोर्टी टू वन थर्टी टू ऑफ मास्टर एंड then we have got worker1.example.com again it will behave like a worker and we are actual the code are going to be uh, shared with the uh, worker and we are actual the code are going to be scheduled then we have got worker2.example.com again this is worker system uh, 131 is the address of uh, worker1 138 138 is the address of worker2 and static address is 201 in the case of worker1 and 202 in the case of worker2 so again diagrammatically this is going to be our master system that we have already explained when we were discussing about a, a cluster setup and this is your worker 1 worker 2 and uh, all these uh, three ar vms in which centos 7 is running so this is our kubelab kubernetes lab setup now what we are going to do first of all uh, the whenever we want to schedule anything we have to check uh, verify whether cluster nodes are ready in are in ready state or not sometimes what happen when we are not working we might shut down the vms again uh, when we are going to power on the machine uh, what will happen sometime you might be getting this type of the message kubectl get nodes the connection to the server uh, was refused did do specify the right was because still when we are restarting it takes certain time to initialize so please wait for some time and again run this command kubectl get nodes what will happen it might show that uh, master is ready other not again uh, after certain time what will happen it could be 3 uh, to 5 minutes uh, uh, depending on the resources you have provided to the vm and again kubectl get nodes what it is showing that uh, mass, uh, all the three systems are ready now what we are going to do again whenever we will be creating anything we will create one uh, um, dedicated directory for storing the yaml file that mean whenever we have to create any type of object uh, like pod uh, that we uh, there are uh, two ways of creating those pods one is through the Uh, by using yaml file yet another markup language and another is the command line option we will be uh, using the both options for creating the pods so in our case uh, we have created one directory k8s then we entered into k8s and then we created one directory pods we have gone into the pods now what we what we are going to do now we, when we ever we are going to create the yaml files for the pod we are going to put the files here now uh, in next video we will see how to create the pod and we will determine where the pods are going to schedule